Welcome back to... ta -da! Merry Christmas! It's time for Rumble Roses! Ho, ho, ho! And speaking of hoes, we're going to play the game that's full of digital PS2 era hoes. Um, this is by far my most... The Rumble Roses videos are by far my most viewed videos. Uh, probably for all the wrong reasons, of course. Uh, they generate less comments per video than just about anything else I'm doing. But I thought I'd come back to it as a special Christmas gift to all of you, you know, pervs out there. Um, I have vaguely decided that what I'm going to do as I play the alternate character storylines is just play the alternates in the order that I played the defaults. Um, which would mean that we're going to start with Rowdy Reiko. Rowdy Reiko is, well, she's ludicrously freaking hot. She's very much a, you know, fantasy girl. This is, you know, real women just do not dress and act the way that Rowdy Rico does. <laughs> this is purely a, like, you know, sex fantasy kind of thing. Nobody goes around dressing like this and acting like she does. It's just, you know, too bad. The world would be kind of a different place if, uh, you know, like, motorcycle sluts or, like, skin-tight outfits, like, ruled the day. But, um, alright, so what we're going to do as we traditionally do. We're going to start off with the interview, and we're going to go into the story. I've already warned you that the stories for the default, or the alternate characters are much less involved. They have an introductory bit. They have a little bit of a chat with their, quote, final boss and an ending. They don't have dialogue between every round of combat. But what they do have is a snake tattoo on the leg, a super tight, probably meant to be leather outfit, uh, tattoo on the midsection, tattoo on the booty. Uh, I think she's supposed to have a scar across her eyeball where she was apparently in a knife fight because, you know, Reiko really strikes me as somebody who's going to go to a bar and get in a knife fight. Oh yeah, this is the alternate version of uh, Reiko. Hinamoto, cute little Reiko, the Zero Fighter, has become uh, Rowdy Reiko, the biker uh, gang chick. So, you know, that makes sense to me. Let's get on with the interview. Do you have a favorite singer? Feet down. Okay. Um, what are your measurements? <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. But you do know them, right? What's your type? Hmm. There's not a man out there that can handle it. Although me. lots and lots and lots have. Okay. Well, who would you like to meet most with right now? Saren. Nobody. Not even Saren. Seriously. Why'd you change so much? I'm not the same girl I was, and I'm here to kick some ass. And chew some bubble gum. Thankfully, I've got plenty of bubblegum, so it won't be a problem. Riding my hog and hanging with the road warriors. <laughs> We're looking for new blood. She's a road warrior, folks. I love that. And she likes riding a hog. What kind of do you do on a typical day? I keep the road warriors in line. You know, I like to line them all up, and um, we have fun activities that we do, like beatdowns and uh, hog riding. You know, that kind of thing. All right, so without further ado, let's go on with her story mode. Now, the interesting thing, you can't really see it here, but uh, she's got all these tattoos and stuff, like this snake tattoo that I guess we're meant to think goes all the way up one of her legs around her torso. Uh, when she's in her swimsuit, which you'll see later, the tattoo magically disappears. The tattoo is actually part of her outfit. How stupid is that? Quite stupid. Anyway. Oh, she a long time has passed since I debuted in the country where my mom died. Staying a long time has passed. Sorry, it's a shockmaster. No, not shockmaster. I never found Black out Sword. what happened to my sister. And one rough match after another made me into the woman I am now. Uh, there's no amount of rough matches Even that are going to turn in you into a biker chick. Nobody gave a damn about me. Until I found the road warriors. <laughs> <laughs> They're all people with nowhere to go. Just like me. Oh, what a rush. Society tossed them away like sacks of Which garbage. Which is pretty much what they are. But they're the only ones who cared. Then Vince McMahon ripped now, them off and made demolition. I'm their leader, and damn proud of it. Whether we win or lose, we're riding down the highway to hell. Oh, believe me. I'm Queen oh, stop, stop. the leader of the road warriors. Get out of my way. Or get run over. <laughs> I can't remember which Mystery Science Theater, or maybe it's a riff track. So there's definitely some point where um, one of the riffers says, I'm known as Queen Cobra to my wrestling opponents, and I just don't know if they're referencing this game or if uh, there's some common source material of Queen Cobra that I'm just not aware of. 
Anyway, horrible, horrible burns on your inner thighs from, uh, you know, riding this motorcycle around all over the place without any kind of pants. But, you know, hey, burns on your inner thighs, that's sexy, right, folks? She's also riding very, like, how the hell is she not tipping over riding like that, that speed? I think she's meant to be yelling at the crowd because she's, like, all heel and evil and stuff. Do, 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 jet singing. Okay. That's what this game's all about, folks. It's so tragic that she's lost her innocence and become an enormous slut. I mean, when Reiko loses her innocence, she's not kidding around. She's full-fledged. It's like, hmm, am I going to become, like, mildly jaded? Nope, I'm going to totally become, like, an insane biker archetype. You know, why, why become, like, just a little bit jaded when I can, like, just totally transform into a completely different person entirely? That's pretty much how all the alternate stories work, though, so I shouldn't be all that surprised by it. But yeah, she's joined the Road Warriors! And the Road Warriors are known in, in Double X when she, on the rare occasions when she makes reference to... This is what you get for calling me Miss! Slap the shit out of you, bitch! Th uh, you know what? I think we've just hit upon the real reason for Reiko's transformation into Rowdy Reiko. She was just called Miss one too many times by Makoto, and it finally just drove her over the deep end. Now, I'm kind of missing the fact that she doesn't have... Oh, crap. She doesn't have a, a kendo stick like she has in Double X, which is... Like, just ferociously awesome. It's like hot chick beating people down with a kendo stick. It's insane. Game, there's nothing halfway about this game, folks. It's just uh, completely shameless in its goofiness and uh, perversion. Alright, let's try doing something other than slapping the bitch around. That's cool. But yeah, in uh, Double X, Rowdy Reiko occasionally refers to... I mean, the, the game has no story mode, so all we really know about the characters comes from... Yeah, you know, the stuff they say during taunts or whatever. Yeah, that whole move sets up an arm drag, huh? But uh, Rowdy Reiko occasionally yells, Cobra Gang is here! So presumably Cobra Gang uh, is just, they've, Road Warriors are repenned Cobra Gang. And I must say, I, I, uh, I prefer Road Warriors because I can pretend that she's hanging around with Hawk, Animal, Power, Heidenreich, and Draws. But, um,. It's still pretty cool that um, you can pretend that this like super hot chick in a leather outfit has joined Cobra and has like some kind of subgroup within Cobra that's called Cobra Gang. I don't know what the heck kind of move that is, but it's, it sets you up for a dizzy, which is nice. That was a DDT, a bitch. Cobra Gang's here, folks. I mean, I, I cannot stress that enough. The presence here of Cobra Gang. Now, here's a nice move to use if you want to soften up the arm or if you just want to have a lengthy opportunity to look at Roddy Reiko's butt. Both of which are noble goals in this game, I suppose. Except at this angle, you can't really see it. Makoto really struggling to make her butt visible for the camera, too, but the cameraman's just not in position here. The cameraman who flies and teleports around the ring. Alright, as per my usual, I'm probably going to try to do all three of her finishers in the first match just so that you get a chance to see them all. This... Sh she is a bit more of a... You know, stinky, mean-spirited cheater type in this form than she was as a cute little innocent rowdy... or non-rowdy Reiko. That's the thing, is because her name is Rowdy Reiko, um... It's really hard to think of her counterpart as being anything other than non-rowdy Reiko. Perhaps reticent to be rowdy Reiko. It's also kind of fun that you'll see later that rowdy Reiko pretends that she's the completely different person. Like not just, oh, I've really had a rough life and my personality has changed and I, I'm such a different person from what I was. No, it's like she pretends she's literally not uh, the same person who came from Japan. We'll see that later on in her story mode, which is kind of silly because she's still calling herself Reiko. She just added Rowdy to it. 
Anyway. Up yours. <laughs> and now she says, up yours to people. In the most delightfully girlish and sweet possible way. Up yours. Like, I find myself picturing somebody who's, like, supernaturally sweet and good-natured saying, up yours. Like, you know, somebody who's just, like, really girlish and, not, like, I don't know, like, Sailor Mercury or Strawberry Shortcake level of... You know, girly sweetness when <laughs> saying, Up yours! It's fantastic. It's so stupid. It's so awesome at the same time. Oh. There's a shot of Dakota's butt. I didn't even mean to do this, folks. I forgot that that's the move I was going to get from that input. Because uh, this really is going to stretch things out ludicrously. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh,. Keep hey man, are you ready for move it? You are the light, Rowdy Rico. Another, uh, you know, while I'm just trying to think of things to say about Rowdy Rico that don't involve, like, you know, drooling. Because, I mean, she is, like, one of the most. One of those ludicrously hot video game chicks. Just like overcoming the uh, limitations of polygonal graphics by sheer implied hotness. But, um. Alright, so now I need to, like, just get her humiliated. So that I can do my H move. Oh, I probably want to do my other two finishers. No, I'm going to finish her with the lethal, I think. Keeping an eye on the time here. Oh, there's parts of her body that are not ready to be broken. Unbelievable. Now she's humiliated. Okay. Now I can do my montage of finishers and then probably end the video. But, um... What was I getting ready to say? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll save it for the next video. Makoto just doesn't look happy to be in the ring with Roddy Reiko, getting her ass handed to her. By this incredibly mean-spirited uh, Japanese biker chick. Ready for this? I'm ready for it. I see it. Oh, interesting. In um, I thought that move had a name. I thought it was called the Sunset Driver. And her other fin her like goody two shoes finishers the sunrise suplex and that was the sun sunset driver but maybe that's only in double X again I don't know and that's just the bitchiest pinning you know setup ever you just like put one foot in your opponent's face or the shoulders are on the mat and you get the pin uh, and if this were a different kind of game the person who was being pinned there would be a male who had paid for the privilege but it's not that kind of game although it's actually pretty darn close anyway folks uh, this has been uh, the uh, return. It's Rumble Rose's slight return. We've come back to this great game of hot chicks and ludicrous outfits beating the crap out of each other and saying, up yours! Uh, so, I um, hope you will um, enjoy, uh, but don't enjoy it too much. You're making me uncomfortable. And um, we'll be back with more of Roddy Rako's uh, story, such as it is, in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.